Hey guys, this is Calvin from Instalod. In this video, we're going to look at some of the many additional workflows available with occlusion culling. Please make sure to watch part one of this video series so that you're up to date with all of the occlusion call settings and know what they all do. The first workflow I want to demonstrate to you is about kit bashing. Typically, a 3D environment is populated with just a handful of models to keep the draw calls and textures used as low as possible. A trick used by artists to create more variety with just a few models is to kit bash them into new variations. Here, for example, I have four models of rocks that have been remeshed and material merged. This gives us four models that are all using the same material and textures. With this setup, I can go ahead and start kit bashing them together. Once done, you could remesh the result into its new single mesh. The issue with this, however, is that this will generate a new model with a new material and textures, creating more draw calls. So instead of remeshing, we're going to apply occlusion culling. This will remove all of the intersecting faces without creating any new draw calls. We end up with the same material and textures for each model. To reduce the draw calls even further, we can simply combine this new kit bashed combination of rocks and we're done. Next, I want to show you how to deal with animated cameras. InSlot doesn't natively support animated cameras, as this would require an occlusion call to be applied to every single frame of the animation. There is, however, an easy workaround, which is a simple matter of spawning multiple cameras across the animation curve. In this case, I'm working in Maya, but this will work with any of our software integration plugins. In my case, I can simply duplicate the camera every few frames. However, this can easily be automated with just a few lines of code in your software of choice. Once we have our cameras ready, we can select them all and proceed as usual. The result gives us a huge polygon optimization whilst retaining the visibility of all polygons through the animated camera.